Hey everybody, this is Matt here again. I'm gonna share my screen and I wanna do a brand new uh, reaction video here. Um, if I can, hold on. here we go. Um, I wanna do, cause some of you may remember that I did work for the Angel Stadium for three seasons. Um, so I know a little bit about baseball, a little bit. <clears throat> and um, uh, honestly, uh, um, Angels are doing. Angels are actually. Angels are doing pretty good this year with eighteen wins in their record so far. They are point six three nine or six point six three eight in their standings right now. But in previous seasons, they've done. Um, they've. They've held 500, um, which is okay, um, but they've they've gotten lower as well by the end of the of a season. So what what I want to do is MLB umpire, let's see, uh, MLB ejections, MLB ejections. That's what I want to do. So I'm I'm going to uh, let me share the sound here as well. Let me share the sound here, and we're gonna we're gonna watch a few things, and some of these uh, may have the little uh, strike zone uh, near the pitcher's mount, the uh, catcher's mount, that's just the batter's uh, mount. Um, where it's if you if it's in the box it's a strike um if it's outside of the box it should be a ball unless the batter swings the bat i think that's the rule when it comes to strikes uh, strikes and balls uh so let's view this first one mlb ejections mlb 2021 this is from last year the super cut this is about 12 minutes long If we can get to it. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Uh oh. Are you going to check Max here? Oh, hey. Give me the video. Hello. Hello. Give me the video. Are you going to check Max here? In the off their game and Davey rightfully coming out to protect his guy to see. Mac drops his head He's in the middle of it. Uh, why is it all blurry now? Sitting after you struck a guy out on, yes. and now Girardi's going to come out. the screen clear, so. Better. Cap off and dropped it on the ground. Struck him out on a fastball up and in. We wondered if something might happen with Max walking off. Not sure if he's gazing at the umpire or all the way over to the Phillies dugout. But watch what he does when he gets into the Nationals dugout. Joe Girardi up to the top step to have his look over the other way. Girardi's hot. Well, you know, you know he was staring right at him. He's daring Max to come on over and get in. Okay, here we go. I, I, I don't know what that first game. I think it was... Washington Nationals with another um uh another team. I'm not sure what what which, which team was that? I'm sorry. Washington Nationals against Oh, I can't tell what that is. So are you trying to find anything That's, to get oh, Max off his game, but I'm I think it's the Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, so let's go forward here. Sorry, folks. Here we go. I don't know who we got. All the way over to go. the Phillies. Well, you know, you know he was. Takes his mask off and barks back. And is All right, this is the Pirates versus the Reds. Ejected somebody. I don't know who we got. Him who was ejected. Somebody's been tossed. Tosmer. 
This guy likes to pitch inside. Okay, here we go. The history between the Marlins and oh, ouch. And there we go. First pitch of the game. He gets smoked. Yeah, as much as he pitched in last time down in Miami and didn't do it very well, kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. It's the at some Braves. Point Not Brian Stinker. Uh, Braves and let's see, go back. Who is uh Who's playing there? I'll go back here. Oops. Osmo. This guy likes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't tell what that other team is. Maybe you guys can help me in that. Anyway. Is where to pitch inside. You know about the history between the Marlins and Acuna, and there we go. Oh, First Mar pitch okay. the game, Mar he gets smoked. F Florida Marlins, okay. Yeah, as much as he pitched in the last a, time down in Miami and it. didn't do it very well, kind of had a feeling that was going to be a, at some point tonight. That for sure is going to be a walk. Let me turn down the volume here. Ryan Stinker is out to park here the go. umpires here. Florida Marlins, it's Lopez. Well, Lopez pitches in as much or more than anybody in baseball. We saw that down in Miami. So now the umpires will confer. Oh, we'll see if any Upper. warnings are issued the rest of the way. But Brian Snitker has grown very tired of this from Miami. They throw him out. So Don Manningly is out. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. If you're not going to do it right away, then what are you what are you getting together and have a meeting for? Okay, here we go. Shift on against Yellich. Oh, One, two picks. okay. Yellich takes okay. a call. Hit the line there. I I kind of agree with the umpire that that is a strike. Okay, I agree that that is a strike, even though it's so low in the square that you guys can see here. That is still a, in the strike zone. Strike three, getting over. I think out. whether or not the batter swings, it should still be a strike. That's my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, right at the bottom of the strike zone. That's a big strikeout for Nance. It's the Brewers versus Cubs. It had the plate right at the knees. Got the call. Who got thrown out? Somebody did. And I think oh, Andy yeah, Haynes he, trying to beat Craig Council out there. The head coach. It was a hook by the home plate umpire. And it, I'm guessing by this, it was Haynes. All right. I got to believe this head is going to be it. Chicago Chicago White bye bye to Hector. Bring in Chagua out of the bullpen and he'll. In the first week of this, we have seen a lot of pitchers giving their equipment to umpires and then walking by immediately. That has not happened with Hector Santiago. As he was coming off the mound here at Guaranteed Rate right Field, the umpires have stopped him. Phil Cuzzy over at the uh, edge of the field. You know, there's a big ball and get extra movement, but it would appear that something was untoward in the glove of Hector Santiago, who can't believe it. We have our first culprit of the new system of checking pitchers. Hector Santiago has been thrown out of the ball game. Hmm. Scott Service doesn't like it at all. And with this, it's going to be a suspension, and you can't replace him on the roster. You know, I'm wondering if, and you saw, you saw the umpire grabbing his wrist. Maybe there was something that. Okay. All right, there's Houston Astros and Orioles. That's not good for the pitcher so far. Ren Strom going out there to talk to Luis Garcia. I may uh, be curious be to see if Strom says yeah, something on his way back. Little con conversation with CB going, you got to help my boy out, man. There you go. The veteran pitching coach. Miz and there goes Strom. Oh. Didn't want to have it from CB. You're Martin. out. Well, we just showed you where those seven Castellanos and oh, a that's punt down the third nice baseline, punt. and it's a good one. The throw is going to be wild. Yelich will stop right where he's at. Let's hang him to see if he made a move, and he did. Wow. Baseline, and it's a good one. The throw is going to be wild. Yelich will stop right where he's at. Let's hang him to see if he made a move, and he did. Wow. 
John Lipka, first base umpire, said he made a baseball move to second base, and now he's going to be ejected. What? Everything I saw there is Quinn Berry, the first base coach, is trying to get in the way here. Yelich has been ejected. Was he just stopped running, never moved to his left? And Indy did the right thing, just applying the tag to see if he did because he'd be out, and calling him out is John Lipka. You know what, Don? I saw a slight change of direction going towards second base. Okay. Well, that's what Lucas saw, too. It's been a frustrating year plus for Yelich, and it's just kind of boiling over now. Yeah, just the importance of the series will turn up the dial. This is Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, it's still Milwaukee and Brewers and Reds. I, I, just, I personally disagree with the um, umpire. The first, the first base umpire ejecting Mr. Yelich. I do disagree with that. Maybe you guys agree. Maybe you don't agree, but whatever. Um, you have, you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, but Yelich um, being ejected, I think, was a, was a bad decision by the first base umpire. I And I also believe he was safe since the first baseman did not catch the ball when it was pitched to him. I think from third base. See bench coach Pat Murphy. So now he goes down the line just that little bit Ooh, towards yeah. second base. Yeah. You got to credit India just applying the tag. He was right on the line. It was that last little move. We'll be in. Okay. Stop. Let's go back. You gotta credit India just applying the tag. He was right on the I'm line. It was that yeah. last little move. Okay. This is the White Sox. Okay, another pitch. Be it. Okay. You can see the circle. You can see the circle. That's where the ball landed. I I would say that that is a ball. But most umpires, I would say. I think we'll call that a strike. I would call that a ball, honestly, but the umpires may call it a strike. Yes. I think they are just in the process of yelling at John Lipka from the side. You're out. He can throw anybody out all he wants, but he's missed a bunch of pitches tonight. Yeah, this is one of those nights where John, who normally does a nice job behind the plate, he's not having a good night. The boys in the dugout were letting him know that Tim's. Wow, Tim does not think John Lipka's strike zone is very good. I believe the word is terrible. Play basketball when he's not pitching. That is a ball, honestly. But this umpire will probably call that a strike. And he gets a call again. Sneaks that one in the back door and strikes out Holt for the first out of the inning. And Holt. Not out. You're out. He's not, and he shouldn't. Now, oh, Brock Holt getting tossed. tossed out of this game. Both sides of the play. We talk about the idea of getting a couple of inches here and there. That was pretty unfair. And so eventually, you're going to pop. Oh, what is going to do? Oh, boy. Well, you'd understand the frustration's a little high for all those guys in Rangers Blue. Mm -hmm. But I, on top of it, Timmons has been frustrating today. He has, and it's been both sides of the plate. You cannot open up. Seven pitch from Jansen to Ruff. Did he? Oh, that is a. That, to me, that's a ball. This is Los Angeles Dodgers and the Giants. That's a ball. No, no tie game. And Dave Roberts is losing his mind. He's thrown out. And he's going to go get his money's worth from first base umpire Ed Hickox. He did swing. I still consider that. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. It's in the square. Okay, stop there. Let's go back. Let's watch that replay again. There's a bird's eye view. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. That's in the box, and I can understand why the umpire will call it a strike. 
but go back to where it shows the square. Into rough. And that's where it lands. Now, why the TV projectors would say that the ball hits there. And let's see. Did he go? No. Is that where the been frustrating actually, today? Actually got you'd, you'd understand. He has, and it's been both sides of the plate. You cannot open Let's up. Watch that one more time. From Jensen to Ruff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So go. that's where the catcher actually catches the ball, right above the strike zone, strike zone box, on from the TV projectors. Some camera has that uh, ability to give, like a 3D, almost a 2D, strike zone picture here for the audience at home. Uh, I personally would call that, if I was an umpire, I would call that a ball. But I understand after viewing it. Oh, no tie game. And, and Dave again. Roberts is losing his mind. He's thrown out. And he's going to go get his money. Oh, 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 okay. I think hit they that. called a ball. Hold on. Oh, they called it. A, they did call it a ball. Yeah, not a strike. So, in this instance, I'm sorry. Let me let me refer. I do agree with the umpire and the first base, first base uh, manager, uh, first base ump, umpire, calling it a ball and letting the guy on third base make it to home. Okay, that that's what's going on. Uh, so I agree with the umpire calling that a ball. But some umpires will call it strike two. From Jansen to Ruff. Yeah, that's a ball. Go. No tie game. So that's a ball. And Dave Roberts and so, is losing so his bases mind. are loaded. So uh, the guy who just swung and got the uh, ball four went to first base, and the guy in third base went to home. So that's why the score is tied 3-3 uh, three, three there. So that's. I think that's a fair call. He's fair thrown call. out. And he's going to go get his money's worth for first base on part of Ed Hickox. From that angle, it looks like a strike. From that angle, that's it looks like a strike. Didn't. No, he didn't. But again, it, it was a ball. That's, that's a swing. swing. That's a call. Right there. It's where the bat travels. That is a strike. I agree with that. And again, a called strike. Here. I know Brad's not happy with that call. I think he thought it was low, and he's out of the game. He's just thrown out of the ball game. I, it looked like a pretty good pitch, Ruben. And Ronald Torres is trying to keep Brad Miller away. <laughs> a little bit of a mismatch. I don't know. Ronnie Torres trying to pull him off <laughs> so he doesn't do anything ridiculous. We go three and two we brothers go. deep oh just, just under the box i would say that's a ball a little bit low said nick lentz somebody go ahead run he just got run i think rossi saying you let him talk you into that Nine games of frustration built up. If Joe's body language is so bad. <laughs> Ooh, right oh, right on really? the line. Wow. One on one. Yeah. I'm not gonna hit Inside you. corner. Skip. Yeah, stick really? it to him. Go ahead. Really? Yeah. You're done. Oh, okay. Skip Schumacher just got tossed. All right. And he's going to come out and say some stuff now. Get your money's worth, Skip. Get your money's worth. Miller, the crew chief, steps in between. It's off now. Inside. Let's watch that pitch one more time. And Joe's body language is so bad. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Pirates with the Marlins. Oh. That is on the line. Hope you guys can see that. I believe that is on the line. 
But if he called it a ball, I, if the umpire called it a ball, I would understand why he would do that. But it kind of hit the line. So that's a that's a difficult call to make for a pitch like that. Oh, really? Wow. One and one. Yeah. Inside him. corner. Skip. Yeah, stick really? it to him. Go ahead. Really? Yeah. You're done. Oh, okay. Skip Schumacher just got tossed. All right. And he's going to come out and say some stuff now. Get your money's worth, Skip. Get your money's worth. Miller, the crew chief, steps in between. The Blue Jays. Uh, a little bit more video now coming your way. Uh, this is after the third out. Greg Gibson. Charlie looking to back at whoever was on the phone, and then Gibson waves it off. He said, that's it. That's too much time. And Robbie Ray heads back out to the mound. And now, obviously, Charlie Montoyo has started talking to Greg Gibson here. That's a ball. He walked him. 3 nothing Milwaukee on four walks in the inning, and that ties a season high nine walks for the Sox. I think he wants to talk with John Lipka. Good for Tony. I mean, look, there have been some some calls that could have gone the other way tonight. It That's, looked like they were in the zone ball. and weren't called, and now Tony's like going to get rung by Lipka. And I think when John goes back and watches, he'll realize there were some. He misses here tonight. Uh, it's an audio I Sony is telling him those were balls. And Tony said, I don't think they were. A lot of runs putting uh, okay, up 11 Houston on the Astros tonight. Oh! And Rayleigh is just Houston hit Astros JP and JP Crawford. Man. Scott Serve is not happy. Somebody came out of the Astros dugout also. Omar Lopez, one of those out there. There was no intent behind Wildness getting ahead 0-2 and, and then walking a batter. And hitting J.P. Crawford. And now yeah. Rayleigh's just been tossed. After all that, why does he get tossed now? Because they're assuming something. Welcome back. While you were gone, Mike Schilt got his money's worth. He just went at the men in blue. There's a lot of lip rating here. I think John Boy's going to have some fun with this one. Joe Madden for the 58th time hey, in his Angels career has Angels. been ejected this Joe afternoon. Madden. Started out a discussion with home plate umpire Bill Miller. It got progressively more animated. And Joe's still out there getting his money's worth. He has been ejected from the game. Chilt has just been ejected. This is live. And he was barking at home plate umpire Jeff Nelson. I would imagine, Ricky, part of this conversation was. Oh, that's a ball. They were barking on the I other side that. about a pitch that you called a ball. That's the same pitch, and now you call it a strike. Yeah, there's nothing worse when you feel as if uh, you, uh, the umpire was manipulated into making a call. Here's the pitch setting up off the corner. It's off the corner by a couple of inches. Dylan Carlson, who does not argue very much. All right. Well, that's one. I think we can do another one. That's three months ago. Here's another one from the same punch outs person. Oh, so this is the first one. Is it? Yeah. I, I was watching the second. One. Let's watch the first one, and then we'll be done. Hang around long enough to get run when one of their stars get run. Spow. A lot of people. All right. Ooh. All right. right on the corner. Let's watch that again. Charlie's gonna tone up, you ain't never gotta say shit. And I know you watch a little bit. All right, watch this pitch. This is who is this? CR the Giants. CR Royals. I'm not sure if this Royals. Let's see. A lot of people. That is right on the corner. Ouch. Um, yeah, that's a hard one. 
I would call that a strike too, honestly. If I had access to this square on the screen, I would call that a strike. So I kind of, I kind of agree with the umpire on this one. That's Watsy Jacksons. Uh, yeah, Charlie could get rocked. Oh, Colorado Rockies. Yep, he Rockies just got right. rocked. He had seen it coming. And this goes back to his previous at bat. The, the batter's now, out. A lot of times a, 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 a manager feels obligated to hang around long enough to get run when one of their stars get run. Here's his pitch on Subaru strike zone. Right on the I edge, said, Buster yeah, sticks Yeah, that, that's a hard one. I still call that a strike, to be honest with you. Very animated. But you notice how the Told him you can't call it up uh, cat, the catcher's glove mo go, moves up a little bit. I can understand that. But, yeah, okay, this time, <laughs> this time I'll agree with the umpire on this strike. Here and down there. <laughs> Oh, you're out. The merry-go-round will be in motion. Okay, this is Ken. Uh, this is Chicago Sildar Cubs. Sildar and Arietta at half and all set Nick to Nick. run. Uh, Contreras takes it. Did he that's, swing? He ooh, did not. That's a ball, ball four, and that forces home a run to make it 3-0 Chicago. And now bases are loaded. Well, Walker unhappy about a lot of the calls in that inning. And has a few words over his shoulder for John Lipka on his way out. Well, he's just been thrown out of the game in addition to being pulled out of the game. Libka throws out Walker. We'll be right back. Reds and Cardinals. Shift is on against Oh, them. out. Oh, the first pitch drills him. Castellanos gives a stare. Uh, He'll be granted for he keeping the peace out there, explaining what happened. Oh. First pitch away. Squirts loose. Castellanos storms home. The shovel is safe. And Castellanos Ooh. right in the face of Woodford, and now the bench is empty. Mm. This divisional rivalry game, Castellanos took exception to getting hit by a pitch. And Woodford being held back by his teammates as he repeatedly points at Castellanos. Now the bullpens emerge. Everyone spilling out, enjoying. Thankfully, seemingly no punches thrown yet, but the emotions continue to ratchet. The crowd all stands. Castellanos had offered the baseball back to Woodford when he was hit. Two outs, space is empty. And he storms home. On the pitch off target that was in and out of the glove of Molina. And he barked right in Woodford's face. Well, John, it is an emotional game. And I mentioned stealing second base and stealing third base so that you can score. Castellanos is thinking, yes, you hit me. I need to score. And that's exactly what you saw on the pass ball. He slid head first. He gets into the plate. And hopefully we can see a replay of what happens at the dish. But I'm going to assume he's yelling, let's go. You can see right there, head first slide, guys on his back. Let's go. Yeah. yeah Castellanos did. And then the melee. He's walking away. Yeah, he's in the Castellanos, he's, he's walking he said away. He wrong. said what he had to do. He scored. And everyone is reacting. And down. This ball right at the bottom. Towards the pitcher, but. Ball right at the bottom of the zone. <laughs> and that time, Brothers got the call, and there are two men down. That's it. Raised it just a Ooh, bit here that's... and got the call from Lipka. Yeah, okay, that's another strike I will call. Four yeah. seamer. And lifted by Contreras. Well, somebody just got ejected in the Mets dugout. Taiwan Walker got ejected earlier, arguing balls and strikes as he was being taken out of the game. And I don't know who just got the heave ho, but some other Met is going to be watching from the clubhouse. 
don't know if it was Louis or if it was somebody else. Of course, we're watching from yeah. flushing, so it's hard for us to be able to tell. Joe's going to bully Luis out of there. Two men in scoring position. Swing and a miss. He it's struck him ball. out. Don't have to throw to first base because first base was not occupied. Foul ball. Mm. Minnesota Wait just a second here. Boston Red Sox. He's saying it's a not foul ball. Foul ball. Not even close. Wow. Not even close. Is that brutal? Oh, they've got to get some help on this. This is not even close. Did you hear what Jordan Baker said to Alex Gore when he came out? That's 100% me. There's no way they're going to overturn that. That was not even. No, that was not close. even in the same area code. And they're going to call a foul ball. He was correct when he uh, said that no, nobody would overturn that. Alex tell them they all missed it. That's two of them today. The umpire is going. I think he's been. Yeah, he's been kicked out of the game. Oh yeah, he got he got heaved. So Jeffers continues to hit, although he ought to be done. Now it's below the knees, but uh, Barnes. Jeffers continues to hit, although he ought to be done. Oh, his foot's in the air. Oh, here we go. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's a, I would say that's a strike. And now it's below the knees, but uh, Barnes stole it. Uh, Phil Cousy's going to rip off his mask right after this and go over to the. Oh, buddy just You're got lost. Right. Yep. Charlie's already been run out of a game once this year, and I'm, we're assuming again we're not there. The Rockies and we're the assuming it's Buddy and not Charlie. We saw a shot at Charlie. There have been some missed pitches tonight. And you can understand Buddy's frustration. Club has Absolutely. not scored in a couple of games. Just four runs on this road trip. And you you. Been squeezed on yours for your pitcher and now against your hitters. Now, now Cuzzy is wandering over again. Well, I think somebody else is is coming down. Tom Hallion is coming down from his third base perch. Trey Turner swinging a miss. Ball goes off at an angle, and Trey Turner has beaten the throw, which goes into right field. I tell you, that brick wall that's angled back there has come into play several uh. times during this series. Now, is Trey Turner going to be called out for running in the baseline or out of the baseline? So Trey Turner has beaten the throw. Which Let's watch this. That's a foul ball on. That should be a, a foul ball there. Trey Turner swinging a miss. Ball goes off at an angle, and Trey Turner has beaten the throw, which goes into right field. I tell you, that brick wall that's angled back there has come into play several times during this series. Now, is Trey Turner going to be called out for running in the baseline or that's out of the baseline? Ball. It's amazing how much this gets called. And here goes Davey again with one of these. And he's just been thrown out of the game because he stepped onto the field of play and showed the umpire what actually happened. And he's taken, <laughs> he's going to go Lloyd McClendon and take first base out Lloyd of the ground. Lloyd McClendon, uh, in a separate video, he took first base and walked all the way to their dugout. <laughs> That's funny. That's wrong. But well, memories of Game Six from the World Series. Nationals. Lou Pinella's done it. Lloyd McClendon took first base with him, and Davey is hot. Well, I don't know where you're supposed to run as a base runner. I mean, Trey stayed on the dirt, ran directly to the bag. I mean, he beat the baseball to first base. 
feel like sometimes umpires just want to make a call. And see, this is my whole thing. I thought this in the World Series when Trey Turner, in my opinion, had already beaten the ball to first base, and then they make that call. Yeah, he did it again here tonight. He was already at the base by, by the time the ball arrived. My big question on this call, J Max, is why does why does the throw matter at all? He did everything right, ran directly, straight down the line, perfectly straight, didn't get in the way of, the, of you know, the throw. So I think Chris Conroy just ruled that, hey, that was a bad throw. I guess it was Trey's fault, and David Martinez was not having it. As soon as he crossed the line, literally, he got tossed. But yeah, as, you know, as a base runner, <laughs> Trey did everything right. You run right to the front edge of the bag, you hit the front edge of the bag, and just Davey's like, where am I, where's my guy supposed to run? Two on and one out. And a pickoff play at second base. Almost got him. And they're going to call a balk. And this might get explosive. This Angel Martinez guy, he's called the worst umpire in MLB history. Said about some calls that weren't made for Singer in that matchup with Reyes. Base knock. That is oh, going to be it for Brady Singer. He goes five oh, and two thirds, and he's been ejected from the game. The third Royal of the night to be thrown out of the ball game after he was just taken out. There'll be some fines. There'll be a little light in the wallet after this one. Nice frustration right there. And remember, it's not even the oh, seventh right. inning yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a ball. That's a ball. No, One no, of Marisnik no, is no, a strike. No. And... Ooh, wow. No. Yeah. Yeah, Ro oh, Rossi David Ross out. just got thrown out. Exactly. That would have been ball one, and the anxiety level would have ramped up for Hader. And these guys are fighting for every pitch, and he let Corey Blazer hear it. Man, oh, wow. that's about oh, as egregious uh, as we've seen this year. Yeah, he shows that he can handle him. Breaking ball, and that's a big adjustment that he's made. Is with the he shows that he can handle him. Breaking. Ball. That's a strike. That's right on the corner. Well, that's and that's a big strike. adjustment that he's made I is agree. with the off-speed stuff. He finds the inside corner on Gallo for strike three. And Joey did not look up. You're up. Oh, and he's been thrown. Uh-oh. This is Rangers and the... Well, that's a huge Boston strikeout Rizzo's? and a bigger ejection. Yeah, because Joey's going to have another at bat in a close game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all hitters express displeasure, but Joey very seldom... You're he's up. animated like that unless he feels like he's got a strong case. And now Woody has been thrown from the ball game. Well. Woodward's going to get his money's worth here with Onora. Well, that's a that's a huge moment right here. 
And like you say, there's no doubt that that spot's coming up one more time, at least in today's game. Now it's a breaking ball that catches the bottom corner of the plate. Now, if you're a hitter, there's and the strike zone, the ball hit the bottom corner of the strike zone. And that's a strike. And a strike three called. Hey, what's the language? That is definitely a strike. Second strikeout of the inning. I am frustrated. Well, you know, we saw Archie Bradley early in the game get frustrated, and <clears throat> Brad Miller. It's understandable. It's game yeah, where certain right. positions. Philadelphia Phillies, a Miami. What's? I, I know that's a Miami team, but I'm not sure what their mascot is. So. It's you know, we saw Archie Bradley early in the game get frustrated, and Brad Miller. There we go. See and this ball. And a strike three called. Okay, why Miami baseball? Miami Brew? No, not Miami Brewers. Miami. Heat. That's basketball. Oops. I'm looking it up on my phone. Miami Marlins. That was Florida. Oh. Florida. Okay, so Miami, okay, Miami Marlins or Florida Marlins, same team. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Frustration boiling over and Miller's thrown out of this ball game. Second strikeout of the year. They're up. Frustrating. It's you know. production offensive. Oh, that's a strike. And he's down on strikes and he does not like that York call. Yankees and he tells Bill Bay Miller as much. And he gets thrown out of the Bay game. Bay. Don't know. What he said, but he was obviously arguing that third strike, and he gets thrown out immediately from Miller. The Burrow had really painted the outside corner. This ball actually looked like a strike, but you know what? I just hate the screaming, yelling, nothing. Demonstrative for sure, Paul. I, again, I don't know what he's. Oh, oh. ow! And some of us are so surprised. Expensive. Home plate umpire Jim Reynolds is going to come out, and I wonder whether that's not what Tony Larusa came out anticipating that if the Twins were going to respond to what Mercedes did in the ninth inning last night, and they've tossed yeah. Duffy out of the game. The umpires conferred. And now here comes Rocco Baldelli. And Rocco's pointing around as if he's wondering about the conference with the four umpires. And Rocco's not going yeah. away, and now he will go away. Mercedes looking out at the mound, and then the umpires. Jim Reynolds called for a forum. I don't believe I've seen that before. Usually the umpire oh, has the one. autonomy to make that call himself. And I've out at the mound, and then the umpires. Jim Reynolds called for a forum. I don't believe I've seen that Ooh. before. Usually the umpire has the it's autonomy missed. to make that call himself. And I think that's what Rocco was uh, so mad about. He just said that. You know, I think he's saying that's that's just, your yes. decision. You're the crew chief and the whole plate umpire. You don't need to call the umpires in. 
Rulers and Flowers. Nah, he didn't go. Wow. He didn't go. That's too low. No way. Well, he's going to get his money's worth now because Brian Gorman has just run Craig Council. Well, he ran Abby Garcia, yeah. and now he runs Craig Council. Yeah. Let's see who else he can run. Drop. These are things you don't see a whole lot in baseball these days. It's the good old fashioned argument. In a frustrating night, again, offensively for the Brewers. So yeah. Garcia is. They're going to have Vogel back finish this at bat. Appeal, oh, that and is a ball. he goes. Back to back strikeouts by oh, Diaz. No, but he did. I, I, I mean, the reality is, is he went. You know, you gotta and now Votto and David Bell are out. This has been a season for Votto showing a lot more emotion than he has historically, and Bell is no stranger from getting run himself. Votto will not leave the field. A short day for Joey Votto. Mm. One two coming. On the inside corner, Melanza oh, down looking. Yeah. McCann is hot. This is the first I, time we've hey, seen yeah, James yeah. McCann snap like this off. since coming to the Mets. Fastball inside that clearly was a bit off the plate. Quinn Walcott punches him out, and now yeah. Luis Rojas has been ejected as well. Boy, Rojas is not only pointing at the home plate umpire, but he's pointing to some umpires on the field, too. That's one of the rare pitches that Melanson will throw that cutter inside to a righty to get a big strikeout. I thought it was in. Proper beef for McCann. Never got there. Franco oh, gets oh out. Yeah. Well, I'll like tell you it. what, yep. kid. And Manoa comes charging in. Yeah. Orioles bench yeah. coming out. Brandon High trying to hold his guys back. Now here come the bullpen. Well, you you just field. don't want guys getting uh, suspended. That's all. Yeah, he, he just got hit for back-to-back -back home runs, and it looked like he was trying to guide that ball in there. I don't know the inner thinkings of him, but for a young player, Ooh, I don't man. think he was trying to hit him. I think he was right trying to the guide shoulder. the ball in there, and again, he got his the arm underneath the baseball, and it rode up to Franco. Michael Franco has been, has, has been around the block long enough to know uh, and when guys are taking batting practice. If a pitcher starts walking in towards the plate, people are going to take it the wrong way. Two skippers yelling at each other. So I don't, well, know I don't think they threw him out because you, can, you can never. Oh, oh yeah, maybe he, they he's, did. he's been ejected. Well, I don't like this either. Yeah, you but can't read minds. You can, you, now, did it happen? Was it the pitch or something after? No, nope, I think they just, just thought that he threw at him. Winning run at third. The 3-2. Three, three. Oh, that is a ball. Oh, my goodness. Barnes gets a call on a curveball to send this game into extra innings. Wow. That is a ball. Well, it's the call that sent this game into extra innings. A Matt Barnes curveball that, according to home plate umpire, Gabe Morales picked up the outside corner. Phil Nevin came out You're of the up. Yankee dugout immediately to take issue with the call and was ejected. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Aaron Boone's concern for Phil Nevin is twofold here. First of all, he wants to save him from right before the season. Yuli fouls one off his foot. I think they called him out. I think they said that ball was in play. That's going to end up being a double play. What? The umpire pointed towards fair territory. Home plate umpire. A Yordan who went down to second. 
thought there was a dead ball, as did we. We thought that was fouled off of Yuli at the plate. But Sean Barber just yeah. tossed Dusty Baker. He claims the ball was in fair territory. Did he give the fair signal, though? He eventually pointed with his mask towards the center of the field, which means ball is in play. Well, Dusty's been tossed. A frustrating night for the Astros. Boston leading 12 to 8. Seventh inning stretch time here at Fenway Park. Well, Aaron Boone has gotten tossed from this game, and now he's walking out to talk to Alan Porter at first base. Just had a word with him now heading to the dugout. So this was moments ago, and he was not happy with Whitson. We saw this coming, and he's pointing to home plate where he thought the bad calls were. So Whitson then throws him out. And Boone gets his money's worth, John. Well, he gets his money's worth, and we were able to kind of pay attention to this. And there was a lot of conversation about Garrett Cole not getting pitches that Aaron Boone thought he should have been getting compared to Yarborough. And obviously, it's been a topic that we've been talking about. It's been noticeable when you watch some of the replays and the pitches that have been off the plate from the lefty that he was getting. And the same. So he can come out and should have been getting as well. See, the point is, if, if you swing and it hits you, it's a strike. And I'm sure that's what Brandon is saying. So he could come out and say, okay, did he swing or not? And I don't know if they're going to go actually talk about it or maybe not. And now here comes Brandon out toward first. And he's going to talk to Nestor Seha, the first base umpire. And he's going to talk quite vividly to Nestor. Question is, was this a swing or not? Probably not there. I mean, to I'm tell. Probably I mean, not there, but yeah. it's a tough angle. Yeah. But Brandon Hyde has been yeah. ejected. Red Sox got to the starter, Oda Rizzi, Here knocked him are. out after three innings. Yeah, that is in there for strike three. Uh oh. Sticking up for his club. Yep, Alex Cora out. This is all about these strikes. Yeah, he knows. He knows their balls. Alex does. I mean, you don't you don't come out there not thinking, you know, thinking that you're that if he didn't miss, he missed more than one. That's the problem here. And then that just sets you over the top. And that may have been a strike, but the other ones were down. Oh, that's a way. No, says Hunter that's, a, oh. that's ball four. And Smith the board to begin things in the second inning. Oh, we got some chirping going on. Let's oh, take a look yeah. first. Here comes Chase Tangler out of the dugout. You're and, out. Uh, Chip Gibson, pretty aggressive. We'll toss him. Ah. Wow. Chase said something, and Trip Gibson started walking right towards the dugout, and then Chase came out, and he kind of got, like, in his face. I mean, very aggressive, yeah. it, it appeared, visually, that an umpire do that. Yeah, and once again, you know, we don't know what was said. Um, right. Whatever what was said really triggered him. Because like you said, Donnie, you described it perfectly. He was off of the mask and making his way over towards the Padres dugout. Well, Tingler has been ejected today very early in this one, second inning. Let's take it to the clubhouse. Skip Schumacher will be handling the game. You're watching the video room and from the dugout. Yeah. From the dugout, you can see. It looks like Bill Miller, the second base umpire and crew chief, has just run somebody else from the. Is it Marcus Thames that just got? I believe he just got thrown out of the game as well. The Yankee hitting coach has been ejected. But Marcus isn't going to leave without at least something to say. I have a hard time with how Bill Miller from all the way behind second base can recognize what Marcus Thames is saying, right? I mean, that, that's a tough call. When you have everybody screaming and you pick out one guy. And now Aaron Boone is going to deliver the news. I, Marcus hadn't left the bench yet. And now the Yankees are doing, I'm Spartacus, I'm Spartacus, <laughs> I'm Spartacus. Boone says, tell me exactly who has to leave now.
Is it Carlos Mendoza that got run? <laughs> I don't know. And Mendoza, guys, is the Yankees' second string third base yeah. coach. Yeah, they're running out of depth at third base coach. All right, folks. That's your new reaction video. This will be uploaded very soon. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, give your comments in the comment section below whether you agree with uh, the umpires or um, whether my disagreement with the umpires is correct. So give your comments in the comment section below, and I look forward to reading what you have. Have a great day.